See the ways that they conceded goals against Hartlepool, Dean Brennan's side, and then that 2 0 defeat against Halifax for Andy Woodman in the opening game of the season. But what we certainly do know that these two teams will be competitive, certainly expecting a playoff place at the minimum this season, but a really intriguing game on paper. On his players this season. Talked about them not being a surprise package anymore when he spoke to Jeff Brazier ahead of this game. Kimo, you'll notice, wearing a protective face guard because of a, a broken nose he suffered against Hartlepool as we see the first effort on target comfortably dealt with by Grant Smith. When we did our game last weekend and we're talking about the discipline of kicking the ball away, we had three or four yellow cards where players just kicked the ball away and it, we we're talking through the game that the players have to adapt sooner rather than later and they won't be given too many chances in terms of that but I'm sure the more games that happen and even early on already you can kind of see now that the players are adjusting to it slightly better. Good ball that, nobody in the six yard box though for the Bees. Nothing wrong with the cross though, it's into a great area. Brilliant ball. Coker and Gorman stood over this. Dangerous position this. Coker with the ball in. Oh, and it's bouncing about and Collins had a shot. And it's crept in. Barnett leads. Collins up from the back. I think there's a bit of an argument going on as to whose goal it actually is. They can debate that in the dressing room. But the Bees in front at Hazley. And then he had the second attempt really, really quickly. It's defended so poorly from a Bromley's perspective. You know that the left foot is going to be coming in in that direction and they just don't deal with it. It's a weak kind of clearance from Callum Reynolds. He's zipping about a bit here now, the Bees. Pritchard, that's a good ball too. And Kabamba, great save. Really good stop there by Smith. Got down so quickly. Oh, what? Can they find a spark from somewhere here? Before half time, Bromley. Whiteley, it's a long way out, but he decided to have a go. Goodness me. Walker was beaten, saved by the crossbar. What a shot that was. Should be the last chance of the half this. Then Crowhouse to swing in the corner for the Ravens. Barnett deal with it though. And there goes the half-time whistle. Barnett the better side overall in that first half. Gorman again has found space, and it sat up to be hit, and it wasn't too far wide. Good effort that from Gorman. What's Andy Woodman thinking? Could be in here, and they are, and they've scored. In their half, so great finish by Nicky, really good play from Blondie. Good turn over, good play. Cheers, Dean, good up, thank you. Well, their top scorer last season, Nicky Cavamba, got one on the opening weekend of this campaign and was in there again. Can they find a lifeline here, Bromley? Arthurs floats it in there. Back pedalling, Glory Walker takes it in. Lua there with the header. Brilliant header as well there from the defender. Webster with the header down, and it came out to Dennis! A couple of chances in the space of about a minute for Bromley, neither taken. Early ball in towards Cheek. Hit on the volley, oh! What a good save. Great effort that from Bingham. A good stop from Walker.